down the road a bit. My name is Brian. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what are you doing out there in the middle of nowhere? Not really sure. <laughs> I see it. Too much as all last night? Maybe, uh, I don't know. Something? I mean, I'll get you to mile marker 206, just stop, stop acting so fucking weird. I'm sorry, alright? I, I, thank you for helping me, really. I, <laughs> says, I'm Frank Thomas, I am, I'm from Austin, Texas. Something, and it's not really clear. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I, I, I really don't know what is going on. Yeah, maybe it's just bad times. Huh, Frank? Probably. Your family? No, I don't. That's better for the bad. You're a pain in the ass sometimes. I guess. Yeah, I was, uh, I was just. It was just back south. It was my family, but. Sometimes it's just too much. It's always something with them, like, like it's my grades or you know, alcohol or what I said or what I didn't say. It's, Sometimes I get be better off without. You still love them, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I think though, like I could just, I'd be, I'd be better off. 
just leaving. That sounds sick, right? But I feel like I'd be better off without my family. But you would leave them? I guess, yeah, I guess that's extreme, yeah. It's just like, you know, the idea sounds really sweet. You said mile marker 206? Yeah. Just like, looks just like hours of psychic therapy waiting to happen. Where'd you go just there, Frank? It looks like you went somewhere else. No. No. You can't leave your family, do you understand me? You will be missed. You understand? <laughs> I don't do drugs. This much I know. Maybe your parents are right. Maybe you drink too much. That ain't Sunday, which is concerning, Pastor Frank. But I'm just saying, okay? Search the end of the world to find it. Yeah, I, mean, I get it. I, I understand that all my family's everything. It's just like.
sense. I don't get it. I mean, if I had a family, I would know. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, right? How much further? About 206. It's like right there. What's there anyway? I just have that mile marker stuck in my head. I, it's like I've been there before. I, you know, I gotta go see. You know, Frank, I, I think you're a liar. I see, I see a wedding band on your finger. I, I mean, you know, I, what, what are you trying to move that pictures of? Uh, unless it's like some family that picked you up and then and then you fucking killed them or something? What are you putting in your pocket? Shit! What the fuck? You you plan on trying to kill me too? You know, I fucking picked you up on the side of the road because you look like a sad fuck, but how bad for you. I didn't mean for it to happen. It wasn't my fault! Stop! Stop the car! Get the fuck out. Dear mom and dad, I appreciate the love, guidance, and support you have given me. You have taught me how to cherish life and build a strong, healthy family. I want to thank you for everything you have given me. I will always love and care for you eternally, but I am suffering. I have lost everything that meant something to me. My family was my life, and now I am living in limbo. Ever since the car accident, I don't even remember who I am. Staying near this highway always reminds me of who I am and what I had. The only bad thing is that it is not a happy ending. And I just want to be happy, Mom. You've always told me that you didn't care what I did, as long as I was happy. And I miss them. Be with you soon.